Welcome to a Healing Peace Podcast. My name is Kimir Baker. I am an overcomer, writer, speaker, and God enthusiast. I am fueled by helping women achieve their emotional healing so that they can live the abundant life God has for them. In this podcast series, we provide faith-based inspiration to men from emotional hurt along with tools and tips for emotional wellness. In your journey, as you apply these tools and tips, you will begin to live the transformed life that you always desired. In fact, you will possess a new you. Happy to have you back. Before we plunge into this episode, I have a service announcement. Yes, I do. PSA. It has been quite some time since I made this announcement. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel in whatever device you're using. If you're listening from our website, take a moment, head over to our Listen to Podcast page, find an app that you're already using and subscribe to our channel. When you do this, we can reach more people with this great content. Also, for those who have been with us for a while, which we say thank you, please share this podcast with your friends. This small act helps us to grow the show. Thank you. Now, back to this episode. For those who have been with us for a while, you know that we like to do a tools and tips after our interviews. Usually, our interviews are packed, and I say packed, with so much information that we want to spend time highlighting them. We want to make sure you do not overlook some great everyday techniques to strengthen and encourage your spirits. In our previous episodes, we discuss the value of biblical meditation and resting in him. In this practice, we learned not only why we need it, but the benefits of slowing down and releasing emotions during them things. I will be honest, I am still learning how to implement the items shared in my everyday life. In fact, before I begin the tools and tips, I want to share in more detail how I'm doing in this area. Well, thanks for asking, okay. Have you ever had an encounter with somebody that forces you to evaluate who you are as a person? Or maybe someone lashed out at you when you least expected it? I know I've heard many times, yes I have, from those who are married or in relationships. They come home after full day, And then their significant other goes off, start yelling, telling you that you haven't met their needs or that you didn't do a chore at home. Just unexpected. And in that moment, you're like, what? Why am I receiving this backlash? Basically, the person just had a bad day and has decided to take it out on you. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't be too critical about that one because I know I have done that many times with my coworkers, meaning I might have had a bad or mad client who treated me poorly. Then a coworker comes over not knowing what just happened before and they start talking to me and they start asking me irrelevant questions. Eventually, I started getting short 
and I don't necessarily respond too nicely. Yeah, sorry about that, coworkers. I know I've done that many, many times. Well, you know how they be saying, be careful what you do because it come back around on you? Oh, yes, it does. This time, I was on the receiving end. Now, normally, when people blow up and say crazy things to me, I just brush it off. I'm like, mm, yeah, that's your problem. And I don't need your problem today. Recently, however, I had an experience where I was not prepared for the blow up. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was working with the client and it came out of nowhere. The things, and when I say things, the person said to me, I was like, what in the world? Wow. Now, what made this encounter so different was that my character was attacked. As I told you guys before, I work in IT and in IT, the world is always coming to an end. Yes, it is. Anyways. The person's statements landed and it forced me to reevaluate my character. And then in the evaluation, I thought, well, hmm, am I as bad as what this person just described? I mean, I always consider myself to be intelligent, reliable, and hardworking. In fact, most people will say, Kimera, you're too hardworking and too reliable. Anyways, I digress. But at that moment, I could not remember any of my good qualities. Mm -hmm. After taking the person's blow, I couldn't shake it for days. I thought about it over and over and over, 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 over and over. I then went to the far extreme and began to think that I do not have anything good to offer people. I then concluded. Well, shucks, why in the world am I doing this podcast? I'm not helping anyone. What's the point? I'm barely helping myself. After I ponder over those statements numerously, I finally went to pray this out. As I started to pray, I began to remember my meditation scriptures of your beauty is perfect and complete. I remembered I wonderfully and fearfully made. Yes, these scriptures came to my mind. And at that moment, I was like, well, God, I don't believe it. But then the scriptures became louder and louder and louder. And I was like, okay, God, I hear you. It's about what you think of me and not what others think. I thank God for the reminder. And then I went on. I said, whew, I needed that. And for a moment, I did. For a good moment, I felt that peace. Unfortunately, that didn't last very long. The next day, I was back at square one. Yes, I was. I remember saying out loud, I am just broken, I'm broken, I'm a mess. Luckily that evening, I did my meditation routine. I played scriptures on repeat. I laid down and I did my breathing exercises. During that time, I fought, and I mean I fought, to get my thoughts from racing, just going back, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I did that for about 20 minutes. It took 20 minutes for me to finally settle down and really immerse and believe the scriptures that I listened to. Eventually, a little bit after that 20 minutes, that gentle whisper came. And I heard your brokenness will lead many people to me. I will say, when I heard that, I, I just cried. I couldn't believe it. And, and I said, well, yeah, I'm definitely broken. 
But on the flip side, I also exhaled. It was like God knew that I was not perfect and it was okay. Not only did he know that I was imperfect, but he had and has and still has a purpose for my brokenness. I thought about it for a moment. I, I went back and forth. And then I thought, oh my gosh, what? Who am I that God will use me in this way? Yes, I'm broken in a hot mess. Yeah, I am crying not seeing my value, but to God, he sees an instrument for good. I'm his instrument. As I share this, it leads me to the tools and tips for resting in him, biblical meditation. All right, let's get to it. Tip number one. Here's a good one. Just because, I'll say it again. Just because you spend time meditating on God's word does not mean that your life will be free from obstacles and people doing crazy things against you. Unfortunately, we don't get a free pass. Number two, to almost have a chance, you have to keep seeking God's face. You have to continually infuse your mind, spirit, and body with God's goodness. Just think, if I've not been playing my scriptures, Yes, when I go to the gym, let me correct that. When I used to go to the gym, I played those scriptures. I'd be lifting my little weights. i will be paddling, do my little elliptical, and I'm listening to those scriptures, just letting it infuse in my mind and body. The repeat allowed them to come to mind when I needed them the most. Yes, they did. They were like screaming at me. Come here. Number three. Just because you remember the scriptures does not mean that they will fix your problem. Mm -hmm. I had to fight to believe and make them real for me. I had to go over, go over, repeat it, repeat it till they became my reality. Number four. To have a chance, I had to slow down. Yeah, I did. I had to rest in him. When I rested, I was able to hear that gentle whisper. Yes, Jenny, she talked about it in our interview. It is so hard to hear God in the midst of the noise. And for me, my own emotions were the noise just causing problems over and over and over again. Number five, meditating on God allowed me to embrace who I was created to be, which includes my brokenness. In the past, and even now, I still wrestle with my brokenness. Because it ain't pretty. But to God, he has something good for it. Number six. Meditating on God allowed me to be more self-aware. I realized that even though I was broken, there was good design for me. I was also humbled by what God wants me to be for him. Number seven, 
Jenny talked about how we store emotions and how we should practice releasing them. One method was crying. Again, I am a proponent of tears. I'm a crying sister. In this case, I sure did cry with God. I spent time with him so he could heal my heart in pain. Not only was I allowing God to work, but I was also releasing the emotional anxiety from my body. I would have to add, for those who are a little bit older, this is definitely anti what we've been taught our whole life. Like I said, usually suck it up. But in this particular case, it's okay. Let it go. Cry it out. Number eight. I sure was doing my breathing exercises. Yes, I was. Why? Wow. This too helps to release those intense emotions. Go ahead. Just let it out. Number nine. Well, actually, normally I would have 10 tips. This time I only have eight. But they are a great eight. During this season of unrest, take time to make these tips part of your everyday life. I also have a treat for you guys. This Friday, I'm going to release my own meditation soundtrack. I, I made this a while ago, and this is what I play when I go to the gym. It's just scriptures and a little bit of music, so you're not just hearing me breathe and carry on and whatnot. But I release this on Friday, and, and I hope that it will be an encouragement to you guys as it's been for me. And in the soundtrack, I also have my theme scriptures for the year. Earlier this year, when I was reading my Bible, God made it clear the elements that he wanted me to focus on so that I can stay refreshed and renewed in him. And those scriptures are on that soundtrack as well. Again, I hope that it'd be something that you guys can go back to and listen to and infuse in your body, in your mind, in your spirit, as you continue to learn to slow down and rest in him. Meet you back next week.